Hello, all my very dear friends, Medigrid users around the world. My name is Paul. This is my studio, Warsaw, Poland. And over there, there are my new Medigrid Pro 2 iPads because I'm already creating some new grids for my new Medigrid Pro, as you might know from the previous episode. And today I'd like to continue this process for you and with you. And actually, I would like to focus on Metagrid buttons, what they can do and how you can make them look and behave. Let's go. All right, ladies and gents, the today's session is going to be presented a bit differently as I'm enjoying my new Tokina lens that lets me present you my workspace in a bit wider angle. Here are my app iPads. Here's my DAW, which is Nuendo 12. And here, I'm, here are my grids that I'm working on. I have already created some and I'm really, really enjoying them already. And I'm really, really happy to have them because for this, what you've, you, you're seeing here, I've been using touch portal application because it let me use custom icons. The previous version of Metagrid didn't let me do that, but the new Metagrid, well, it does have custom icons. And that's the reason I could finally quit touch portal and focus solely on Metagrid. And what you're seeing right here right now is the grid for initiating plugins in my DAW. Normally what you do is, I'm going to show it to you. Normally you do this, right? Mm, yeah, I need silver version. This is my favorite. So I have to write it down from my keyboard. I don't actually have to do this because I do it like this right now, just with a single click, <laughs> guys. <laughs> and this is absolutely fabulous. Working like this is a dream. <laughs> and <laughs> what I used to say is that I may not be the best guy in town, but I'm the fastest guy in town. <laughs> and I hope that people know me at least from that side. Guys, let's get under the hood and let's see some of my buttons. Let's take this one and you can see the button structure here. First, you've got macros. Macros are chains of powerful actions combining single steps. You can have separate Mac and Windows PC macros. Here it is. There's my chain of command. What I do, it's I press numerical one, which is my keyboard mouse click emulation. Then I write the name of the plugin and then I simply press enter. Simple as that. But I can add, of course, more keyboard shortcut, text input. I can make a pause. I can activate a particular application on my computer. I can also do MIDI messages like CC, note on, off, program change, MIDI steps, or UAAC as well. And then I have integrations, Cubase, Ableton Live, and more software integrations that let me use my Metagrid as a menu of a particular app. Then I can repeat this action on a long press so I can perform it many times at once without banging my iPad, uh, iPad all the time. Then I can name uh, the button here. I can choose the size of the text. I can choose the custom icon. I told you, right? This is really great I, and I love it. These are my custom icons and I'm going to show you how to actually do it. Here's my meta server. I press setup, I go to files, and this is my custom icons folder. Here are my icons. You can see that I'm transferring them from touch portal into Metagrid. They are 256 pixels squares, though I think that Metagrid is able to handle 128 or 512 as well. I have just the names of the icons. I put them just in one folder and that's it. Then I open custom when choosing icon and here they are the choice of my custom icons i really love it then i can choose an additional background image for my button i'm not using it right now but it's cool that i have it here 
And then there's a button layout. I can have only text. I can have a text with this background image. Then I can have only icon, icon with this additional background image. And then there is icon plus text, which is my choice for this um, set of grids. Then I have some button styles I can choose from. These are like color styles, mm, but I'm not using them. Let's undo. And here I can choose the background color. I can choose even the border co color of the button. I can choose text color, icon color, background image. And then there's something called grid display action. Mm, we're gonna leave uh, that button now and we're gonna go to this top row. The top row is a navigation row for me for a group of buttons. Mix one and here I've got display grid. This is the action, no macro, nothing. Though I can perform a macro and then go to a grid, I can simply choose a grid I want to go to here. This is the set of my grids, which makes it possible to make a strict, very complex navigation system for your grids. I decided to do it a top row. Um, I've got also a bottom row for this. This is going to be mm, like higher level navigation for m even more grids I'm going to create for my Nuendo. Also, some of my buttons are not actually buttons, but are simply labels. You can create actually a only a label to put a text. I simply choose also a button because I can mm, do it as well and I can uh, input text only. Yeah, and editing buttons is really also nice and fast. I can choose a button, I can copy it, I can go to layout, add additional button uh, in my structure and then I can paste what I've just copied and then I can do any changing the name, changing the icon, whatever I need. Also, I can actually choose what I want to copy. So I can copy layout settings, icon settings, background setting, text settings, etc., 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 which makes creating grids extremely fast, I would say. Also, guys, one more thing, multi means that I'm going to copy this, I'm going to make a setup here, and I'm going to paste it all like this. Yeah, of course, as I told you in a previous episode, I can split, I can merge, so my buttons can be different size, they can be more important or visible, or they can be smaller. And guys, let me just tell you that the way um, it works, the way I can edit it, the speed of my DAW uh, actions, as well as the speed of creating my grids, is totally there. I mean, really, I can compare it to Touch Portal, which is also a really cool app, but I have to tell you that I'm happy to finally switch everything from Touch Portal to Metagrid. Mm, and guys, let's sum the things up for today. I have to tell you that still, this is very, very beginning of what I want to present to you in my series and what Metagrid Pro is capable of delivering there for you. Um, there's so much great stuff under the hood that I'm going to have a couple of topics to talk about for sure. And I'm really, really happy to be here with you and presenting a new Metagrid because believe me, this is a pure joy for me and a pure pleasure to share such a great thing with you. Made also by a Polish company, which makes me somehow proud sometimes. That's it for today, guys. Hope you liked it and hope to see you very, very soon with your new grids expanding, of course. Bye.